military. Well, with me here in the studio to get more on this is uh, BBC Arabic's Issam Ikarmawi. Issam, good to have you with us. Just tell me a little bit more about these five locations that were agreed at the Munich conference uh, last week. Just tell me about where they are in the country and what sort of state they're in. How badly do they need this aid? Um, there was a lengthy discussion last week in Munich over how to deliver aid to these areas. Uh, seven uh, areas have been identified by uh, the United Nations as in desperate need of, of aid. Uh, the Syrian government has agreed to send aid to five of these areas. One of these areas identified is right in the east uh, of Syria, in Deir Zur, which is partly controlled by IS forces. So it would be a, a, quite a challenge for the United Nations to try and deliver aid to that part of Syria. However, at this stage, they're concentrating on the suburbs of, of Damascus, like you mentioned, Dan, in El Maadamiya and uh, Zabadani. Also, there are two areas in the north, in the Idlib area, Al Fua and Kafraya. These are the areas that have been uh, receiving some aid. The Syrian uh, media spoke about 35 trucks entering Al Maadamiya this morning, uh, and 100 more trucks are waiting to be sent to the area. Uh, it's, it's too early to verify mm -hmm. how much of this aid has actually uh, been, uh, ha have reached the target, but we should be able to know in the coming few uh, days. And the Syrian government under huge pressure to deliver here. So seven locations highlighted by the, uni uh, by the UN as in need of help. Syrian governments agreed to five of those, but Aleppo, that city almost totally destroyed, is not among them. Yes, Aleppo is, is, is quite different, in a different category. There's been heavy fighting going on. Thousands of refugees, until my, uh, last week there were over 50,000 of them massing on the border with Turkey. Uh, heavy fighting going on between the government forces and uh, rebels in the area. There are various groups. There have been also, the area has been a subject of heavy uh, air bombardment by the Turkish Air Force as well as the Russian Air Force. So Aleppo at the moment is a, an extremely dangerous area. Okay, Issam, we're going to have to leave it there, but many thanks. Issam Ikarmawi there from BBC Arabic. Good to talk to you.